Hey yo, what's up? You know what it is. Your boy TDG in the building. Welcome back to One Neck Rex. About to take on World 4. However, before we get started, personal footnote type of ish, so just fuck with your boy for a second, alright? Four years ago, to, four years ago today, around this time frame here, I thought my mom died. You know, we've talked about this before, and if you have no idea what I'm talking about, go watch the, the Mega Man I review. However, it's kind of hard to really deal with. It used to be because it was like, I had my birthday last week, and then this week, this is what you got to deal with. The remembering that the person you love the most, who was the most important person to you, is no longer here, and to have that kind of slap you in the face a little bit for you to understand what it is. With me, it ain't as hard as it used to be to deal with it. I used to be a nervous wreck all the time. And ultimately, I got over myself, and I got to a point to where I could exist, I could live, and I could do the things that I do. For the record, let it be stated. The reason you, the reason there's a diary of the game over, the reason why there's a run that wreck, the reason why I do everything I do, was because that wonderful woman believed in me and the gift that I possess, whatever the hell it is, that she stood by me right, wrong, otherwise. And that's something that I can appreciate. And even though that it's not here, it's still here because it lives within me. And because it lives within me, that means I have the opportunity to pass it on. So I pass it on in everything that I do. Whether it's being a father to my kids, whether it's doing this shit, whether it's doing whatever. That the ability to believe in yourself and the gift that you bring to the table is the most important skill any parent can instill into their child. It's why I am who I am. That's why I'm unapologetic. It's why I'm a lot of things. Because I'm not scared to tell the truth. Because she taught me not to be scared to say what's on my mind. Because a closed mouth don't get fed, all that bullshit. But let's just get to the point. Because we got things to do. Sure, Renee Shavers was the most awesome person I ever got the opportunity to get a chance to know. Not only was she my parent, was she my best friend, but she was just an all-around awesome fucking person. And anybody who knew her can testify to everything that I just said. With that being said, boss, everything that I do is dedicated to your memory, that's dedicated to the thought and the belief that you had in me, that I can do whatever I want. That's why I've been such on the turn lately, because I've ultimately gotten to the point in myself where I'm unapologetic about the things that I do. That's why I got the blog board blowing up slowly like it is, while I'm on Facebook and Twitter and doing all this stuff and trying to, trying to take things to the next level. Because of that belief that was instilled in me, that I can do whatever it is that I want to do. So, like I said, boss, everything I do is dedicated to you. This episode of Run That Rest is definitely dedicated to you and the memory and everything that you brought me and everyone else you had the opportunity to touch. And with all of that out of the way, I can breathe a sigh of relief that I've gotten that off my chest. And I'm sure the awesome that is that my mother and we can get to work. So, no further ado, it is El Pate time. Welcome to World 4. You know, and we're introduced to two new friends. That guy in the sky, his name is Lax. He's a complete and utter asshole. Because he likes to throw things. Oh, I was a good boy. No. Die, fire, die. Give me my money. Give me my, give me my shit. Die. And those are his friends, the Spidey, you know. Never often to see those guys. Ever. And I mean, ever. Nice warp pipe. Let's see if I can do them for a try. Gotcha! Oh, I'm about to fuck the fuck with you. Ah, shave the slide, dog. Let me see if I can get out of here. I am awesome. I'm like, why well, I think I call it the Shaver Slide? Because I invented the remake, man. I invented the remake. Hmm. 
these extra ones in my coinage, coinage, coinage. Now the question of the day: Can I hit the five stack? Yes, yes the fuck I can. I can hit the five stack. What was that? I took what three steps? Bitch, I'm like, I'm, I'm LeBron James in Mario. I took three steps and dunk that bastard. <laughs> I'm a fucking ball. Back to the underground for four two. Now, something I should have got into in four one is that, for the most part, let's be honest. Most people don't play this game and play this game with working. So this is like maybe the fourth stage you usually see where people just trying to get through this game. Trying to see, trying to, you know, trying to get through the game. This is usually the fourth stage you see. And um, right over here, let's see if I, I'm not even going to go up here, but you know. Just so you know it's there. That is the warp to six, seven, and eight. Just so, you, just so we have an idea that it does exist. Now, on the other side of this pipe, and the, in the left, in the next block over from the pipe, there is a star where that Buzzy Beetle is. But no reason for it, because there's a pipe right here, and I want these coins. So it's like if I'd have got the star, I wouldn't have been able to do that shit with it anyway. So really, no point in getting it. But. I wish I was playing this game with work because I'm not gonna say that whatever. Is that because is that what we're gonna see in four three is that the same motif that they use in four three is used on that is used from the on <coughs> what the hell am I trying to say? Is used in that um in that warp zone level from um from four two to six, seven or eight, so you know. Also, above this pipe here, you jump over here. It's world five, but since you're not warping, who cares? It is what it is. And five stackers, he's in a building. I just do the damn thing. Five stack keeping it rolling. And four three. And here's that motif we were talking about, the mushroom top, man. This looks so cool. And I like another than four two, if I'm not mistaken. This is the only stage in the game that actually looks like this. Well, because everybody and their mama walks around, you really never really get to appreciate. Oh, down. No. Dead. It's my thousand. I, I hope you really want to say I was like gonna, you know, do something crazy. Like, you know, kind of push and lift up or jump the shit. No. Fuck no. 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 Fuck no. We, 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 we don't do that. Right but like, I, like you saw, you do get a thousand points. For stomping it all the way down, but you know, if you're looking to maximize your score without getting killed, and you can do that. And I think that it's every coin in the fizz age, so we good with that. And five stacks, one more month yet. Good ball. And four four. Now, four four is the one of the two main things in the game. Just know, first step, go up, don't go down. In the all-star version, you get beats and chimes when you get the when you get it right or wrong. So know that. And after that, climb the stairs and boom. This is your way out. You're welcome. I'm glad I can help. So just remember, go up, go up, up the stairs, then down the stairs. And holy mother of God, hell! Why did a fire stick? No, 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 nigga, no, nigga, yeah, you're dead, and he was a spiny, and there's a, the total ball, and we are done, oh, shit, look, yeah, 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 fuck your mama, bitch, I'm the juggernaut, motherfucker, and that's that, another world down, 5-1 coming next. Like I said in the beginning of this, and like I will say in the end, sure, Renee Shavers Woods, you are an awesome person. I miss your life. I miss everything that you are. But know that as long as that I'm living, I will continue to pass on the positive energy that you gave to me and so many others. I will pass all this love that you gave me to your grandson and to any other babies I may or may not never have. 
your boy TDG. We in the building. Run that wreck. Again, shout out to my mom, man. I love you. This is a hard day to deal with every year, right? And it's like right after my birthday, so it's all planned in hand. But it is what the fuck it is. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna get out of here. A couple things y'all need to do. Triple the guy dot blogspot dot motherfucking com. Diary of a blog whore. We taking shit over. New new game. Same for rules, but I run shit. Blog of fear. So let's just do a double check. We get out of here. Took over YouTube. Check. Took over Facebook. Check. Took over Twitter. Check. Taking over blog. Check. Fuck it. You know what? I'm gonna get me. What 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 fight is that? I can't even think of it. I can't even think of it. Wait, yeah, I'm gonna get a Tumblr account because I have a couple of questions for Princess Molestia. Do not judge a nigga. I love that plot, dog. Don't don't judge a nigga. Just don't judge a nigga. But you know what it is. Your boy TDG, man. Run that race, man. Get at me on triple the Follow me on Facebook. Tweet this to your fucking homies or some shit. I don't fucking know. Um, one more time. Boss, I love you. I miss you. I won't stop missing you. And I won't stop believing in myself like you believed in me. You know what it is. TDG, run that Rex, man. I will see y'all next time. 5-1. Fuck Hammer Brothers. We get extra minutes. TDG, man. I holler at y'all. Peace.